Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in the previous video, we looked at the jQuery slides down functionality, the function that uh, is present, and we created this, this uh, effect that you see here. So when the user logs in or enters the web page, this uh, is automatically scrolled down. Now, in this function, we're going to implement a link which makes use of the slide up function. So when the user clicks a link, this uh, element will actually slide up again and be hidden. So the first thing we need to do is uh, just go ahead and I'm going to surround uh, the text that we previously created uh, in paragraph tags. And then I'm going to create a link just down here. So a href equals no thanks. Okay, so now what we can do is uh, just the href is a uh, hash and we need to give this uh, link an ID. So I'm just going to call this hide message. Okay, so now that we've got this link, let's go ahead and preview it. You can see that we just have this no thanks link here, which we can click at the moment it does nothing. Uh, eventually what's going to happen is we click this and this completely slides up back hidden. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into effects.js and we need to create an event handler which will handle when this link is clicked. So when we uh, when we uh, are inside our document ready, remember that our top slides down as soon as we enter the page. Uh, we can include this uh, event handler inside here as well. So we need to reference the button that we've just created, which remember I called hide underscore message. So I'm just going to say hash hide underscore message and then I'm going to say dot click and then brackets so this is the event handler that we've created now and inside of this we need a function uh, with actually what's going to happen when we click the button or the link so once we've clicked the link we want to do exactly the same as up here but we want to slide up so we again reference the top message div we say top underscore message but this time we say dot slide up and then in brackets we create a speed so for example 300 now it might be a good idea at this point to start creating a variable such as speed and I'm going to make this equal to 300 and then just substitute these values in here okay so now that we've done that we can go ahead and test this functionality let's refresh the page you can see that the div has slid down uh, exactly as we specified before. Now when we click the no thanks button what's going to happen is we are going to call this or this event handler is going to catch the fact that we've clicked on this button and then it's going to perform this operation here. So let's go ahead and preview that. We're going to click no thanks and you can see that slid right back up into the very top of the page and is now hidden. So this is an extremely simple but effective method of actually displaying a drop-down message at the very top of a website. 